Hi, everybody. I am Stephanie Quick. We are um, with the Upward Bound program today, and we're going to be telling y'all a little bit about what we do and what we have to offer. Um, but first, we're going to do some introductions. All right. So I am Stephanie Quick. I'm the assistant director for the program, both at BB and at Heber Springs. Um, I've been with the program for about nine years now, and I actually got my start with the program as a student. Hey guys, my name is Houston Reagan. I'm an academic advisor here at the AHUBB program. I've been with the program for about three years now, but I got the opportunity to, to get a start with it back when I was in college as a tutor mentor. Hello, I'm John Williams. I'm an academic advisor as well. And I've only been there for three months and I'm enjoying it. Uh, I got my start here as a TM as well. All right, let's get started. Here at Upper Bound, our academic year consists of Saturday academies, tutoring services, as well as cultural trips. For our Saturday academies, our students will have three classes, one of which will be an ACT prep class to help the students improve their ACT scores. The other two classes will vary. For example, this past Saturday Academy, there was a life skills class. For our tutoring services, students can receive tutoring in a variety of subjects, and they can receive tutoring both virtually as well as in person. For our cultural trips, students will visit colleges, museums, and other historical places to enhance students' understanding of other cultures. Thanks, John. So we've talked a little bit about the academic year. Let's talk a little bit about some of the things we might do during the academic year. So we have a grant for STEM studies, which is science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. And within that grant, we're allowed to give students an experience or the opportunity to experience working with some really cool forms of technology. Here recently, students have actually designed products on a 3D printer and have been able to print them off and actually use them. Another thing that we're working on for later in this year, probably next month or so, is a robotics course where students are going to learn how to use programming languages and coding to teach a robot how to do some really cool functions. The next section is going to be drones. So with advances in photography and videography and social media, I think it's an important skill to learn how to use drones because it may be our future. It's always good to be aware of these things and learn how to use new technology when it comes out. This is an opportunity to do so. All right, the next section I'd like to talk about is going to be community service opportunities. So growing up where you do, it's always good to have an opportunity to give back to the area that you grew up in. And so ways that we can do that through Upward Bound are through initiatives like Stream Team, where we go out into local streams, do some litter pickup, and we also do some biology stuff regarding, you know, water sampling, bank analysis, and identifying the different living organisms that live around those areas. It's a really neat experience, you learn a lot, and you give back to your community by making it a prettier and healthier place. Next thing, like local programs, we work with local animal shelters to give dogs that are in those places a little bit of a better life. And then the next section is a community garden, which we haven't started yet, but we should be working ground very soon. Where we'll grow fruits and vegetables for our local food pantry, and we'll be able to donate them once they come to full maturity. These are all really cool things to be able to do. Plus, it looks really good on a college resume. As members of Upper Bound, students will also take part in a six-week summer program. During the first five weeks of the program, students will get a full college experience. They will experience campus life by having a roommate, living in a dorm, having access to a cafe, and they will also be given a class schedule. Class schedule is very similar to class schedules that they will see in college. And depending on how they perform in those classes, they have the opportunity to go to an out-of-state trip, which is the sixth week of the six-week summer program. And the trip includes academic aspects as well as many, many fun aspects. As you can see in the background here, this is the last out-of-state trip we took, and it was to Colorado Springs, and it was a lot of fun. We, had, we did a lot of cool things. Thank you, John and Houston, for going over um, what we kind of considered the more fun stuff. I'm here to talk to you about the kind of like me things, right? But you need to know this stuff. Um, the qualifications to get into our program are to be first generation college student, meaning neither one of your parents 
has a bachelor's degree. It's okay if they have an associate's, it's okay if they have some other sort of professional training, but if they have a bachelor's degree or beyond, um, that would put you out on that one. All right. The next option is to be from a low income household. Um, and if you don't know what that means, your parents would. Uh, and so my advice would be to talk to them, see if they know, if they have any questions, by all means, they can contact us. Um, and we can explain where to find that information if need be. The third one is to be academically at risk, meaning that means um, that maybe you don't have the best GPA, like a 2.0 or less, right? You're struggling in some of your classes or maybe you're just not fully um, putting in your full effort, but a two point GPA or less and our standards put you academically at risk or maybe you don't test well on those state tests and you score um, less than proficient in any of that stuff. So those are the three things that you would need to qualify. You can have one or two. Um, you do not have to have all three. Okay. We'll go to the next slide here. Give me just a second. Okay. So, um, if you have any questions, by all means, you can contact us, you can email us, you can call us, um, you can find us on Facebook or Instagram and get a hold of us that way as well. Um, again, this program is free to y'all. We actually pay um, some stipend and mileage. So, I highly encourage you that if you're interested to get in contact with us. Thank y'all. Y'all have a great and wonderful day and we look forward to hearing from you. I decided to join Upper Bound because I was thinking I have nothing else to do during the summer and basically I can just be working on like some schoolwork that I need to work on and also you get paid. Because I thought it would be fun and it would give me more experience with college life. Um, I decided to join Upward Bound for uh, getting a better feel of what college is gonna be like in college life. Plus they give you free ACTs and resources to make sure that you get into college. Cool.